How's it? Today's Tuesday, September 5th. It's the second installment of The Thumb Chronicles. <laughs> uh, if you didn't know, I sliced the tip of my thumb off last week when I was chopping some vegetables. Uh, lesson learned, just keep your eyes on what you're doing. Uh, other than that, today was just a clean day with some temple back squats. Uh, of course, I did my Mikkel Big 3 and my hip mobility as well as a warm-up. And it's... My back feels like it took a little bit of a step back today. It's definitely not as painful as it used to be, but it's just a little bit achy. And I do think it's probably because the turnaround time from when I lifted last night to today. I didn't sleep very much throughout the night and kind of coming back to the gym at this time was, I mean, it's not quite 12 hours, but it's 15, 14, 15 hours or so. And so like, that's not a lot of time for recovery. Usually like 24 hours is, is ideal, close to ideal. It's not really gonna be 24 hours. It's gonna be like 22 hours, whatever the case is. Um, I think that me making those changes yesterday from kind of omitting some amount of sets and exercises really was a smart move given how I feel today. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm trying to figure it out with this thumb thing. I can't hook grip, so all of these lifts have one strap you see on my left hand. And it just feels really weird in my hand. I think that it's actually a lot easier to hold onto the bar, of course, which makes sense because it is strapped to my, my body. But I, again, said it last week, I would not recommend it. I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's very dangerous. I think you need to be careful. But for me, it's like, this is what I'm going to do so that I can continue lifting. Uh, yeah, as far as training goes today, power clean plus hang power clean plus hang clean, which I switched to last week because the week before that, I wasn't able to do my power cleans. Um, I did like one of them I, I failed. I think the last set I failed the hang power clean. And then I didn't even attempt the second rep of the hang power clean. So it was like a one plus one and then yeah it was just not a good time uh, for today like the powers off the ground feel really strong i feel like i'm very quick and it doesn't look like how it felt like it doesn't look like i'm trying um maximally like to me it looks like i'm just whoop pick it up whoop it, it, there it goes whoop you know like um, very quick movements, but like for the amount of effort I'm putting in, it is a lot. It is a lot. Um, it, it feels weird because there was a time when I could power clean like 120, like 120 pretty regularly from the ground. Um, I was at that time I was trying to power clean 125. I think the closest I got to it was 122, which is a far cry away from 108, which is what today was, right? So to me, it's like there's such a big range of how it looks versus how it feels in that like spectrum of like <clears throat> perspective versus reality, you know, um, whatever. I dove into a, a, a deep hole in that. Um, moving on after that, I did my tempo back squats, just three, one, three at one thirty. This was hard. And it wasn't hard because my back was hurting. It was hard because it was hard. And I don't know if I'm going to continue with this tempo next week. You'll see that some of these reps on the way up, I'm struggling. Um, and I'm trying my best to keep it as, as even tempo as possible. So here's my pause. One, two, three. So that was a, a good tempo. One, two, three. Mm, that's a little bit slow. One, two, three. Yeah, that's pretty good. And like, it just gets harder with each, each and every rep. Watch this, watch this. This is not very good, like, core control, which I guess is my whole issue. Um, it's the whole reason why my back was kind of giving me a lot of issues a few weeks ago, right? And so if I'm able to just push more properly and brace my core more properly, my knees are not going to go in. That's something that I learned pretty recently 
Like, you see my hips kind of shift backwards, like, posterior. Wait, posteriorly? I don't know. Um, and then it feels like I have to shift my weight uh, significantly out to my heels. And at that point, I'm, like, struggling. And if I have better core control, I guess is a, is a better word, throughout the whole lift, then my hips are not going to allow my knees to cave in. And if I can keep my knees out for longer, then I think I'm going to be a stronger lifter overall because I'll just be more stable in those positions and I'll get more work out of them. Because right now, watch this. Watch this side. Or not the side angle, three angle, three quarter. My knees go in, my hips go way back, and I'm just like, this is hard, right? Um, next week would be 135. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing that for this tempo, but... We'll see. We'll see. I might feel like I'm a whole new person next week. I don't know. I don't know why I would, but there's a chance. There's always a chance. Um, after that, I finished off with some snatch RDLs, three sets of 10, real simple, at 60. And then I did some back extensions because um, I didn't read my program. I was supposed to do dips, but I think the back extensions were completely fine. I will just do the dips tomorrow. <laughs> um, I'm... I'm, I'm I'm an idiot, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. I don't think that it's going to make or break me. Um, those might be my famous last words, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, that's the training for today. Pretty simple. I'm figuring it out with that thumb going on with the strap, but yeah, not too much else to say about today. Um, if you're watching, like, comment, subscribe, I guess. <laughs> but thank you for watching. Shoots.